was a, was a great because the process itself is very unnatural. It's a war, but it's also a drug. You, you keep on enjoying and you want more. Struggle a little bit with things, but you figure it out. You know, you just work at it, you hit your head hard enough, sometimes, someday, some idea comes and you figure it out. So I realized early on the only way I can succeed is by hiring people smarter than me and looking at talent at a global level. Never keep your eyes on your stock prices. Just focus on your business and really? product. You're not keeping your eye on the stock prices. In fact, there are many days I don't even look at it. Sharing their stories this week are Bizuri, Popmatic and Bharat Matrimony. Chetan Kulkarni, Gaurav Chindlur and Vikram Nayak, former colleagues at Trilogy, an Austin, Texas-based software firm, were exposed to various aspects of internet advertising and behavioral targeting products. The trio, then in their early 30s, sensed that digital media was a huge opportunity and so in July 2008 they quit their jobs to launch Visuri. A digital CRM company focused on empowering online businesses to engage with their customers, Visuri's product, Visitor Relationship Management, delivers personalized ads converting website visitor drop-offs into customers with a data-driven approach. Murugaval Janki Raman started off as a programmer and used his spare time to build a Tamil community site to connect NRIs in the US back in 1997. He added a matrimony section and to his surprise, it was an instant hit and attracted a sizable traffic. Quick to realize the opportunity, he decided to foray into an exclusive matrimony service in 2000 with a 300 square feet office in Chennai. Redefining how marriages are made in India one click at a time, Bharat Matrimony is the number one Indian matrimony portal with eight times more success stories than any online matrimonial service provider. In 2006, Rajiv Goyal co-founded Pubmatic, a software product for online publishers like news and entertainment websites, e-commerce portals and small and medium businesses to help them better manage and monetize their ad inventory. Headquartered in Redwood, California but with a majority of its engineering team in Pune, Pubmatic is one of the fastest growing ad tech startups globally with valuation cited at close to a billion dollars if it were to IPO this year. One year of zero revenues. You sat as with the tags of IIT and IAM and you thought that would fix it for you. Tell us about your first customer, about your first investor and about the first senior level employee that you hired. Let me talk about the first customer. Um, so, we, we sort of, just timeline-wise, quit our jobs uh, around mid-2008, right? And our business plan was a one-slider which said, data, technology, marketing, right? And, and we thought the sort of, the, the uh, venture funds out there are, are there to sort of fund smart people like us. Unfortunately, that was not true. So, um, we iterated with sort of multiple business models around that triangle. Uh, and here's an interesting meeting we had with Yahoo Small Business. Uh, so Yahoo Small Business had sort of more receptive years uh, as, as a potential customer. Uh, and then they, we, we sort of told them some things on the phone that we could do and then they said, okay, come, come do the demo. Right? So we had three to four days of, of to build up a demo. Uh, Vikram coded all those all through the three nights. I remember we, were, we used to work out of Gaurav's bedrooms, uh, the, the zero cost model. Uh, and we took it to sort of Yahoo Small Business after having demoed it only once, right? So there were some 500 use cases there. We had, we had tested some one or two of them uh, and then went into the demo because we had to get there. The, the, the guy was sort of there with the checkbook. And this was Feb 2009. Mind you, not too many people were willing to give you checks. Uh, so we went to the demo. The demo started. Vikram started demonstrating it. I started sort of talking about it. Uh, and then the guy said, why don't you do this, this, and this? Right uh, now, Vikram, Vikram sort of put in those options, and those are the sort of five minutes that are the longest five minutes of your life. The the, the button got pressed, right, and then all of us were looking at each other anxiously. What will throw up over there? And then Vikram said, "It works." 
<laughs> right? And, and then I, I actually just calmed it down saying, of course it works. Right? So we got our first check from Yahoo Small Business. Very good guys. They still happen to be friends. We laugh over it. But that was the beginning of our journey. But as you talk of this demo, how many such demos had you done before where you would not be as successful in getting a customer? I'm not sure. Right? Maybe tens of them. Maybe tens of them. We would, we would build up demo after demo based around some hypothesis that we had, mm -hmm. take it out there, and then got, get kicked out. So that, that, was, that had become a ritual by that point in time. And this was in, at the end of one year, uh, those dozens and dozens happened before. That's what I'd like the audience to understand. It takes a, a lot to get the first customer. No, certainly it does. It does. I, I, I think, uh, I still remember... Um, February is when my first son was born, and then that happened to be his sort of first birthday. Wow. When, when newborn is there, uh, people give you money, right? So I still remember my house, part of the sort of savings from the, those donations and well wishes that came in ran the house for that month. So it's, it's, the How old is the son now? He is about six years old, as well in the company, yeah. Okay. Tell us about the first employee that you um, hired uh, after three of you came together. As frugal as we wanted to be, right? so we said we'll uh, hire a fresh engineer um, as a fresh hire. And uh, we saw that Vikram was working the hardest. He was sleeping hardly four hours a day. So we said, okay, why, why doesn't this hire actually be under you? So that you can get a couple of hours more sleep per day. And uh, uh, his, his name is Anand. And he's still, he's still working uh, with us. And he's sort of a legend in the office because he's the first employee. So uh, we uh, got around to office, which is actually Chetan's place. Uh, he was obviously finding it very weird that, you know, why is somebody doing the interview at a place? Don't they, do, don't, don't they have an office? And uh, just before Anand came in, we realized that we don't have a table to do the, to do the interview. Sure. So we, <laughs> we quickly ran over and we bought a makeshift plastic table and we put it and we put chair, two chairs and we said, okay, Anand, you just sit here. This is where the interview is going to happen. Thankfully, he liked the team and uh, let me join you guys even though you guys are paying very poor salaries compared to the market. That also reminds me some um, interesting stories about our initial hires. So we were working with this uh, recruitment consultant uh, who would help us source candidates for uh, interviews. And uh, we would wait for the candidate to come and many times the candidate wouldn't turn up. In fact, pretty often the candidates wouldn't turn up. And I would get very frustrated with this uh, consultant saying, you know, why are you sending us candidates who are not interested? It's a waste of my time. Um, so he was very hesitant in the beginning to tell me the reason. Uh, but then he sort of had some guts and he said, actually, they're coming and looking at the office and running away. You know? So <laughs> that, that was sort of an eye-opener. And then the next few interviews, we actually did it in Cafe Coffee Day. He said, okay, let's, let's not... Let's not get them to office and eh? let's get them in coffee day and then, you know, slowly open up the reality. <laughs> so, Rajiv, uh, chip shot looked great. You guys raised a lot of money and then uh, you walked away. Tell us about what happened and what went to your mind and what made you come back to Pubmatic and which way you looked at it. Sure. So, uh, so Chipshot is the first company that I started along with one of my co-founders uh, at Podmatic, uh, Amar Goel, who's, who's my brother and lives in, in Bombay. And this was back in the mid-90s. And so this was an e-commerce uh, business uh, selling customized golf equipment online. We uh, raised money, well over $50 million in venture capital from the likes of Sequoia Capital Research, Sumitomo in Japan. Uh, and I was, I think, 22 at the time. And I think we, we made really uh, two mistakes. So one is that we raised too much money uh, relative to the size and the traction of business that we had. So ultimately, we grew it to 30 to $40 million in revenue run rate. Uh, but having raised that much money, the, the exit uh, hurdle, the exit barrier gets obviously steeper and steeper uh, every time. And I think we did not understand that well enough. So Rajiv, are you telling the audience and the people that getting the right amount of money is critical because if you get too much or too little, it can be a problem in the long term. Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct. And, and you know, if you think back to those times, 
That's when venture funds were first raising their 800 million, 900 million, even billion dollar funds. And so a big part of their model was to push as much money into a company as possible. Uh, and I think we were not uh, um, savvy enough at that time to understand that approach. Uh, and so absolutely raising too much money can become a, a problem. Uh, and the second way it becomes a problem is every problem that you come across as a CEO or entrepreneur, you start to think, well, money is the way to solve it because I've got this money sitting in the bank and it's earning me 2%, 3%, uh, w w whatever it's earning. Uh, and so you throw more money at the problem, which means more people, more infrastructure, more third parties, uh, all of those types of things, which really can, can move, the money, uh, move the company in, in a different direction, in the wrong direction. So we've tried very hard at Pubmatic to learn those lessons and apply those lessons correctly. Um, so today we have a, a pretty substantial business. We've raised about 60 million in venture capital. So we've been much more conservative. Um, we've reached levels of profitability much sooner than that. So we're trying to apply those lessons learned from the, the 90s blow up uh, much more successfully today. Do you have any guidance to people to say, look at where you raise money from or is it dumb money? It doesn't matter where it comes from. No, I think I think more important than the fund itself is actually who is the investor from the fund and who will be on your board of directors. And that relationship uh, with the board of directors is obviously very important. One of the things that I think we've done well at Pubmatic is each of the individuals that is on our board from our investors, Nexus, Helion, uh, uh, August Capital, they're primarily operators themselves. So they've spent 30 or 40 years as CEOs, as CFOs, and they maybe have spent 10 years now as investors. But when they are confronted with a problem, with a challenge, with a question, they think about it really from the operator perspective, right? That's, that's in their DNA. Uh, and so they understand that uh, businesses don't always go up and to the right every quarter. You're going to hit some rough pockets. You're going to have some, some issues you've got to work through. Uh, and that some of these things take time. And so they're patient. They're very long-term oriented. And they really put themselves naturally in the entrepreneur or the founder's shoes. There's plenty of checkbooks out there. But really focus on who's the individual that you're going to be working with and that's going to join your board. One of the fascinating things I found as I read the book mm. was that you yourself got married using your own website. Yeah. Yeah, so here's that uh, testing of it's our service works. Of That's a huge test, yeah. guys.